Here's a yummy bit of chocolate, except for the poisonous bit in the lower left. On your turn, you can choose any bit of that chocolate to eat, and you eat everything to the north and to the east of that bit. So for example, if you chose the 8-3 piece, then you would eat everything to the north and the east of that. Now it's my turn, and I'm going to choose that bit, and your turn. Let's say you choose that bit, my turn, let's say I choose that, your turn, you choose that, my turn, your turn, my turn, and ha! You have to have the last little poisonous bit. So, in this game, we know that the first person is the person who should win this game, but we don't know how that first person can win. So there's a little fun game that you can play with your students to practice both Cartesian coordinates and as an introduction to inequalities. So you have to um, eat both to the north and to the east. The game of Chomp was designed in 1952 by the mathematician Frederick Shu. Here he is playing another one of his creations. Now it's time for us to design our own game. In this game, we start with a Cartesian coordinate system. We're going to add 10 points randomly to that coordinate system. Then we're going to choose a line. We're going to get that line by flipping seven coins, and that is two heads minus five tails. Two minus five, that's minus three. So that's minus three x, and we're gonna do the same thing. That's four heads minus three tails. Four minus three, that's one. So the equation of our line is y is more than minus 3x plus 1. Whenever you flip coins, you may choose to flip them again if you don't like your equation. But you can only do that once. That's where the strategy comes in the game. Okay, now you've got your equation. Uh, the minus 3, you could also choose to put that on the denominator, so you could choose uh, minus 1 third x plus 1. So you also have that flexibility. Once you've got your line, so in this case y is minus 3x plus 1, we can plot it. So here we're going to plot it. There it is. And now we want to choose y is more than that line. So that's it. And there's four of our points in that area, so we score four points. It's that simple. Now it's the opponent's turn, and you just go back and forth three times, add up your score, and that's it.